Hi guys, Sarah McCarthy, Gold Premier of the Triple P team. I just wanted to come to you straight from my bedroom. Why am I in my bedroom? By myself? Oh, right. Because this is the only place in my house where I can get quiet. I know some of you guys can relate to me. And it's nice and quiet. It's comfortable. I would love nothing more than to curl up underneath these covers and just get warm because it's comfortable. And when you get out of the covers, it's uncomfortable because it's cold and ugh. but you have to do it because you have to get out of bed in order to get your day going so you guys need to find some hostesses right it's gonna be uncomfortable I'm gonna tell you what you need to do okay you can stay here in your bedroom in silence surrounded by nobody in your comfort zone or you can walk out that door and go find and meet new people no, I know what you guys are saying. You're telling me that, you know, you've talked to everybody you know and there's no other people that you could posh and there's no other people that are willing to be a hostess for you. Really? Because last time I checked, they still make people. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's tons of other people out there. So, what's the solution? You need to get around more people. How do you do that? Well, there's events. There's sampling and following up. There's uh, networking groups. There are, maybe you're involved in your kid's daycare or soccer group or dance class or blah, 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 blah. All sorts of dance stuff. Or maybe you go to the gym. There's people everywhere. You just got to talk to them. So here's how that works. The more people you talk to, the more people will host spa nights for you. It's really a numbers game. Okay, and the more people that host spa nights for you, the more people you talk to. And the more people you talk to, the more people that host spa nights for. And so forth. Look at that. It's like this cyclic thing. Okay, so you need to talk to people and you need to be willing to contact them. Because fortune's in the follow-up after all. So let me tell you a little story. Before I came home, I had to go to Ulta. I know, twist my arm, go to Ulta. My little thing that I put underneath my eyes I love so much ran out. So I went to Ulta to see if they carried the brand. I didn't think they did, but I would go and check anyway. So I did. They didn't have it, so somebody started testing this other product on me. And I said, you know what? My caffeine in a stick just doesn't work. My caffeinator sometimes, it's just not enough. So I need to have the makeup to go over it. She goes, oh, that sounds fabulous. So we led to talking. And um, I left her with a catalog and some papers. Now at Ulta... That's a big no-no. They are actually not allowed to do that, and they can get in a lot of trouble. So you have to do it on the sly. So I had two other girls, and I said, listen, I did not absolutely bring in any samples for you to not take because I know you guys aren't allowed to do that. So I don't have any samples. So shake your, so you know, you can shake your head at me, and I'll shake your hand, and I did not give you any samples at all. So, and they're like, okay. And so they got the samples. I said, all right, I did not absolutely ask for Facebook so that I can contact you via Facebook to see how you guys like it because that's the condition. And they're like, cool, no problem. So we connected on Facebook because Facebook is a lot less intimidating than asking for a phone number. People get really nervous. Why do you want my phone number? Why are you going to call me? Da, 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 da. And they'll literally see you call and they just won't pick up the phone, especially if they don't know the number. But Facebook, Facebook, you connect on Facebook. You can do the little voice app. Hey, how's it going? This is Sarah. I gave you the sample the other day. I said I would be following up to see how you liked it. So here I am. Okay. So I set a reminder in my phone because that's the biggest thing for me. I'll forget. And I'm following up with them on Monday because as I told them, let's face it, there is no way that's happening this week because it's Thanksgiving week. And as much as I would like to say I would do it, it ain't happening. Um, so I set a reminder to follow up with them on Monday and I did, and I did have a retired sample with me and I just told them, Hey, it's a retired sample. We don't have that anymore, but we have stuff that feels just as great. But if you want to cry about it, it's okay. I cry every day over Brazilian bombshell being gone every day, just tears. So that's my tip to hostess, to find your hostesses. You got to get uncomfortable. You guys got to get outside this door. You can't stay in the comfort of your bedroom as warm and comfortable as it is all the time. You got to get out in the cold and you got to go meet people. It's Remember, the more people you meet, the better your odds of finding somebody that's going to have a spa night with you. And remember, it doesn't have to be big, just a couple people. Don't let, the, don't, don't let them get scared away because they think you have to have so many people. 
So I hope this has been helpful for you guys, and I hope you guys have had tons of luck booking spa nights, especially since we got the awesome perks deal. So I will talk to you guys later, and mwah! Peace out! I'm gonna go get me some hostesses.